Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello all, I am Mrs. A. Muthulakshmi, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science from Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Today, I am going to explain you the topic arrays from the subject programming in C. The outline of my video conversation is about how to define an array, how to declare an array, how to initialize an array, how to access an array and how the array is being traveled and the types of array. Let me explain about what is an array. Array is a collection of similar data types stored in a continuous memory location. Normally, how do we declare a value to a variable normally in C? We use int a is equal to 10. That means, the value 10 is being assigned to a variable a. If we want to assign a character to a variable, we use char a is equal to s. But in your arrays, we can store multiple values or multiple elements in a single variable. For that, we use the concept int a of 6 is equal to the values. Here, 6 values has been assigned continuously to a variable a that has been showed here. Here you can see the values 2, 4, 8, 12, 16 and 18, 6 continuous values has been assigned to a variable and it has been given the index value always starting from 0. It starts from 0 and goes up to 5. Let me explain the initialization and declaration of arrays in the forecoming videos. Next is your declaration of an array. How do you declare an array? As I told you, multiple elements, multiple data elements of similar data type has been stored in a single variable. So, an array can be declared by specifying its name, its data type of the elements and the size of the dimensions. Here, they have given a syntax, data type, array name, size. This data type can be either int or character or float, any data type. ARR is the array name given in this example and sizes of 5. As, I, as it has been shown here, ARR of 5 indicates 5 similar data type elements has been stored in the variable ARR and the memory allocated is shown as the index starts always from 0 to 4. As it has got 5 elements, the index always starts from 0 till 4. Let me explain you an example for your array declaration with a sample C program. Here we know that normal C program starts with the main program. Int main here, int ARR of 5 indicates 5 elements has been assigned, 5 integer elements has been assigned to the variable name ARR. Similarly, 5 character variables can also be assigned with the variable name ARR. So, what does this indicate? 5 different types of elements with the same data type can be stored in the array. Similarly, 5 different array of characters has been stored in the variable name ARR. Let me explain here with an example. Say suppose as I told you, one value can be assigned to the one variable in the normal C. In your array here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 has been assigned to 5 different variables of A, B, C, D, E. While in array, you can store those 5 different values to the same variable name ARR indicating with the syntax as int ARR of 5. Similarly, 5 different characters can also be stored with the example char char ARR as the array name with the size 5 stored as SMNRX. Next is the array initialization. How do you initialize the array? Initialization of the array can be done with three different types. Let me explain you all the three different types in detail. First is the array initialization with the size. This is done in the compile time. There are two types. One is runtime, another is compile time. We initialize this array with size in the compile time. The syntax given is data type array name of size is equal to values. It means int ARR of 5 means 5 different values. 5 different integer values has been stored in the array name ARR. Here 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5 different values has been assigned to the variable name ARR. In this example, you can see 2, 4, 8, 12, 16, 
are the different values has been assigned to the variable name ARR of phi. It is shown in the declaration. Second type is array initialization without size. Without size means multiple values without mentioning the size of the array you can declare. The syntax is data type array name of the size is not been mentioned and five different values of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 has been assigned. Similarly, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 has been assigned to the variable name ARR with the data type as int. These two what I have explained are using compile time you are declaring the values to the variable name. Next is how do you declare these values at the run time? This is done by using what is called as for loop. These are the arrays where the initial values using loop once the declaration is being done the initial values has been assigned to this. This has got the syntax as syntax for int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus. What does it mean? Initially we know the syntax of the for loop as first we need to give the initial value, next we need to give the limit, next we need to increment or decrement the i value. Here for int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus, we are giving the values of array name of i is equal to value. Let me explain you with this an example. Say suppose we need to uh, give three elements, for that the initial is Star. As I told you, the indices always starts with 0 and ends with the n minus 1. i is equal to 0, i less than 3, i plus plus. Once it goes here, a of 0 is equal to value of 0. a of 0 is the first value what you assign, a of 1 is the second value and a of 2 is the third value. Thereby, three values has been assigned to the array way. Next, let me explain you the array initialization by using a sample C program. Here three types of initialization what I explained you has been explained in the same C program. Two is done using the compile time, one is using the run time. In your compile time the array initialization with size is mentioned. Here as I told you five different values has been assigned to the array name ARR of five. Similarly here also five different values has been assigned without mentioning the size. Next is array initialization using for loop. With the help of the for statement, you can get the values of arrays by using for int i is equal to 0. So, initially the value is 0, limit goes up to 5 and it is being incremented. Next is you are getting the values of the array by using the scanf. Scanf percentage d ambassant arr of i. When i is 0, arr of 0th position value you can get. When i is incremented to 1, the arr of first position till up to your i goes less than 5 that is i is equal to 4 you can get 5 different values by using this for loop. Let me explain you how to access an array when you are giving the data elements into the array how it is being accessed. We can access any element of an array by using a array subscript which is given in the square bracket with the index value of i. The syntax is array name of index here int ARR of phi, int is the data type, ARR is the array name, phi is the size which has got the index value starting from 0 to 4. One thing to note is that the indexing of the element always starts with 0, the first element and it ends with the n minus 1 as the last element, totally n different elements it has been assigned means B always starts with 0 and it ends with n minus 1 element ok. This is accessing an array here only ARR of 0 indicates only first position or the 0th index has been assigned. Here is totally 5 elements has been assigned always starts with ARR of 0 and ends with n minus 1 which is 5 minus 1 which is ARR of 4. Totally 5 different elements has been assigned to the array starting from 0 to 4 with the index value totally 5 elements has been assigned. Let me explain you the accessing of an array by using a sample C program. Array declaration and initialization by they have given 5 different elements of 15, 25, 35, 45, 55 assigned in the array variable name of ARR with the data type int. Now accessing the element at the index 2 and the third element here we are going to get ARR of which is ARR of 2, it always as I told it always starts with ARR of 0 with the 0 index. So, next is 1, next is 2, the output will be 35, it has been shown here. Next, 
printf enter the elements of arr of 4 what is arr of 4 it always starts with 0 1 2 3 4 though so the output becomes 55 next they are asking for the arr of 0 which is the first position which is 15 we have seen the output as 15 let me explain you how an array is being traveled starting from the 0 index value to the n minus 1 index value okay for this Traversal is the process in which we visit every element of the data structure in the array. What is the use of this traversal is we can search for an element or sort for an element. You can insert an element in an array. All these processes are being done in your traversal. When you visit every element in the array, you can easily determine which element to be searched, which element to be delimited, deleted or which element to be inserted in the array. The syntax given is always as I told you in your arrays you must use for loop. So, for int i is equal to 0 i less than 10 ARR of i shown with an example. This is traveled when i is equal to 0 i less than 5 is the limit IRR of i is so 0th position you are entering the value as 2. i is incremented to 1 it is checking for the condition whether 2 is less than or 5 yes so ARR of i i becomes 1. Next let me explain you the two types of arrays which is being used. One is the one dimensional array, next is the multi dimensional array. Here I am going to explain you about the 2D array. Let me explain what is this 1D array. One dimensional array has got only only one dimension. So, it is given by the syntax array name of size int ARR of 5. Only one dimension is given. Here in this it has been given as one row. Only one row of 5 elements has been assigned to the variable name ARR. Let me explain you this 1D with an example. Say suppose here you are declaring 5 elements with the variable name ARR with the data type int. Here 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. As I told you the index value always starts with 0, ends with the n minus 1 element. So, goes up to 4. The 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5 different elements has been assigned to the variable starting from index from ARR of 0 to ARR of 4, okay. Now, we are going to array initialization using for loop. For int i is equal to 0, as we are going to take 5 elements i less than 5, i plus plus. Here, you are going to do a calculation part of ARR of i is equal to ARR of i plus 10. What does this do? When i is initialized to 0, the 0's index value will be retrieved from the input given and the added to with 10 and it is saved in again ARR of i. So, first ARR of 0 takes the value as 10, it is added with 10 again. Now, ARR of 0 has become 20. Again, i is incremented to 1. So, ARR of 1 is 20, 20 is added with 10 again. So, the value is 30, which is stored in ARR of 1. Similarly, it goes up to i is less than 5, which is i is equal to 4. When i is equal to 4, ARR of 4 becomes 50, 50 is added with 10 and it is stored as 60. This is the output of this. Why are you using this? This is for printing the output of your elements which you have calculated. Both calculation part as well as printing part will be having for loop to retrieve the elements or data from the indexes. This is how. First, this is the input given and this is the output given. Next, we are going to explain about what is the two dimensional array in your C. This has only two exactly dimensions of rows and columns. This has given with the syntax as data type, array name, rows, columns. This being given with an ample example over there which has got four rows and four columns. So, the example is int ARR of 4 of 4 which indicates four rows with four columns. Let me explain you this 2D with an example of C program. Here, Declaration and initialization of the 2D array is being given with int ARR of 2, 3 means 2 rows and 3 columns which is given with the data 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. It is being separated as 10, 20, 30 as your first row and 40, 50, 60 in your second row. Thereby, it has got 3 columns as 10, 40 in one column, 2, 50 in another column, 3, 60 in another column. How do you print this as I told you? Without for loop, your arrays will be very difficult to work on. Here, as it has got rows and columns, it will be having the for loop as 
by using I and J. Before in your previous declaration of your arrays, we had only I which was 1D. Now in 2D, we will be having two different initialization as int I is equal to 0, I less than 2. Why is this 2? As it has got two rows, so 2 I plus plus. Next is for J is equal to 0, J less than 3, which is 3 columns, J plus plus. Print ARR of IJ. How does this work? Initially, both I and J are 0. So, here ARR of 0, 0, which indicates first element has been stored in the array 0, 0. So, ARR of 0, 0 holds the value 10. Now, always add as it has got two loops. Inner loop will be incremented first, then followed by the outer loop. So, J is incremented to 1. Now, I is 0, J is 1. So, 0, 1 indicates 0, 1. Second element is 20, which is being stored. Again, J is incremented to 2, which has goes ARR of 0, 2. 0, 2, the third element 30, 0, 2 has been stored in 30. Next, the I incremented to 1, then 2. Hereby, your 40, 50, 60 has been stored in your two-dimensional array. This is how the two-dimensional array in C works. Let me explain the arrays in more detail in my further videos. Thank you all.